This video will give you some basic information on using MyLabs Plus in your CCC online courses. Whether you're a student in a course or you're a teacher teaching a course for CCC online, this video will help you understand how to access MyLabs Plus and how to ensure that your computer is set up properly to be able to use its content. The button to access MyLabs Plus is found on your course homepage on the right hand side in the external links widget. Clicking on this button will take you to the MyLabs Plus site where you will be able to access all of the MyLabs Plus digital content for your courses. In order to make sure that your computer is set up properly to use MyLabs Plus, there are a couple of things that you'll want to do. The first is that you'll want to ensure that your browser's pop-up ads are disabled. This process is different for every browser, so whether you're using Firefox, Chrome, Safari, or another browser, do a quick internet search on how to disable pop-ups for your particular browser and change this setting. Now depending on your course's design, you may have a MyLabs Plus support page. If you do have that, you'll find it in the content, in a technical support module, and it will be labeled MyLabs Plus support. Now if you happen to have this page, it will have some really helpful links for you. One of them will be a link to a page that shows you how to turn off your browser's pop-up blocker. If you click on that link and scroll down, you'll find links for each major browser and instructions on how to turn off that browser's pop-up blocker. Now also on this technical support page, you'll find a link to the Pearson browser tune-up. This is the second thing that you'll want to do to ensure that MyLabs Plus will run properly. Now if you don't have this MyLabs Plus support page, you may also find this Pearson browser tune-up link in your course content, in either your syllabus or start here module on your course materials page. And you'll have a MyLabs Plus section there where you'll find that link. But whichever page you find that link on, when you click it, it will take you to the Pearson browser tune-up. Here you'll see a list of browser plugins that are required for Pearson MyLabs Plus to work correctly, and you'll see either a yes or a no to indicate whether you have that plugin installed. Anyone that you see no next to, you can simply click Get It, and it will take you to the page where you can download and install that plugin. Now it's important to note that this Pearson browser tune-up is different from the D2L system check that you run to make sure that D2L Brightspace will work correctly on your browser. So even if you've run this D2L Brightspace system check, you'll still need to run the Pearson browser tune-up to make sure that MyLabs Plus will run correctly. Finally, if you need technical support for MyLabs Plus, you can visit either that course materials page in your course content in the syllabus module, or if you have the technical support module with the MyLabs Plus support page, you can visit this page. And either of those pages will have a link to MyLabs Plus Pearson support. When you click on that page, the recommended way to get support for MyLabs Plus is to start a chat. You can click that start a chat button, enter your information, and you can start chatting with the Pearson support person. We hope you have a great experience using MyLabs Plus in your CCC online course.